Well, this is an experiment to uh, show the effects of voltage and current coming out of a string of uh, photovoltaic modules. And what I've got hooked up here is uh, 10 sharp 200 watt modules in series. Uh, I'm thinking that's going to give us about 300 volts output, maybe just a little bit more at 8 amps. This is uh, July 12th. We're up in Michigan, and it's about 11.30 in the morning, not quite uh, solar noon yet. And the experiment is set up this way. Basically, when you look, uh, we have a hot dog cooker here in the middle, uh, voltage test probes coming off leading to the meter on the right. Uh, current is going to run through the meter on the left when the uh, switch over here is energized. So. Basically, right now, we've got a, a break in the cloud, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch and see what happens here. Now, this uh, particular experiment is in response to a couple of people that have told me that, uh, oh, you can't get shocked off with these photovoltaic systems. They're completely safe. We've been putting them in for years. And I guess my retort to that would be, yeah, you've been putting in 12 and 24 volt systems, but when you start dealing with a series string and a DC circuit, that presents some different problems. So I'm going to flip the disconnect switch on here, and away we go. I immediately hear sizzling. Notice the uh, amperage up here. We're at about half an amp's worth of current on the two hot dogs, 313 volts. Current's climbing now about 0.6 amps. And you see things are burning along pretty well there. The, uh, the bottom hot dog's about to fall through top one's about to go also. There we go. And uh, did this experiment yesterday. The top one actually sagged down a little bit and kind of re-established contact with a little more drama, but it doesn't look like we're going to get it by its own volition there today. So anyway, you can see uh, with DC current, the let-go threshold is about 75 milliamps in order to uh, have it where you cannot let go. Well, we're well over that. We saw on the left-hand meter up here approximately 600 milliamps when both of the hot dogs were out there. And, of course, the human body would present a circuit similar to this. There we go. Uh, we've reestablished contact. See, it just burns right clean through those. And, of course, over here, almost 320 volts. That is uh, somewhat temperature dependent. But as you can see, there is a serious safety concern with these. And uh, this is not the kind of thing to be taken lightly. Uh, basically, anything on DC over 75 milliamps will uh, cause you to reach the let-go threshold. And consequently, what happens is you simply can't let go. The, uh, the flexor muscles in the arm or whatever uh, limb you happen to make contact with will contract, and unlike the hot dog here, which clears the circuit as it burns through, uh, because you've got more mass on the human body, you've got bones and whatnot, those muscles will clamp, and you will not be able to let go, and that's why this is such a serious problem. So watch out when you're working around those photovoltaic circuits. You notice I was using uh, voltage-rated gloves here and a plastic implement in order to make contact with that circuit, and I did that intentionally so as to not electrocute myself in the process here.